Okay, let's go ahead and get started creating our level. Now, the first thing that we need to do is create our brand new project. So I'm going to go under File, come down to New Project, and the first thing you should always do with a project is name your project. That's helpful. Yeah, it's easy to forget to do, too. So we're going to come over here, and we will call this Snow Level, because that's what we're going to be building. Now, what you name your project doesn't really matter. You can name it anything you like. Just remember, generally speaking, it's going to be one project per game, and we'll talk more about projects uh, in another video. So now we need to load in some specific packages. Now these packages are kind of like sets of features, things that you can add into your level that are already created for you by Unity or by other people, depending on what you've downloaded it and added in. And uh, you should really try to avoid your initial move, especially if you're brand new to Unity, of just saying, oh, well, I want everything, and just loading everything, because it'll take Unity like 10 minutes to get everything loaded in. You really don't want to do that. But some things that we will need will be our character controller. Uh, this will give us a default control style that we can use to play our game and run around inside of our world. Uh, we're going to come down and grab... I don't necessarily need light cookies. We'll talk more about those later. Now, let's see, if, I, if we scroll down, I'm going to need particles, so those are important. Keep scrolling. Let's see, skyboxes are nice. Let's go ahead and load those in. We're not going to worry about the standard assets for mobile. We will bring in the terrain assets. These are things like uh, rocks and trees and whatnot, just ways to help us decorate our terrain later on as we create it. Uh, the tree creator, I'm not going to be using uh, for this particular demonstration, but uh, we will be talking about that uh, later on in some upcoming videos. And then we need to load in some water. And I don't really care which water you load in. You can bring in the basic water. You can bring in the pro water. Really, the big difference between the two is the look of the whole thing. And basic will work just as well for our purposes. So if you're running non-pro Unity and you don't have the pro water, don't worry about it. But I'm going to go ahead and load in pro water because I have it. And we will click Create. Now, when we do this, Unity is going to go away and completely load back in. If you are completely new, if this is the first time you've ever run Unity, that will startle you the first time. But don't worry about it. It's supposed to be that way. Right. It's actually Unity's way of purging out the old project, cleaning up memory, and making sure that you're starting with a, your fresh part project with all of its settings. Right. And the very first time that I ever did it in Unity, I mean, I, I thought Unity had crashed for a second. I was like, no! And then it all came back. So we'll just kind of chill while Unity gets all this stuff loaded. Right. And this is where you're saying you don't want to load every package just because. Right. You saw that we only loaded a few of these. And what this is actually doing right now is it's taking all of these, uh, all the assets found within these packages, and it's copying them over into a brand new folder that represents your project. And that folder has its own actual location on your hard drive. We could navigate to it and check it out. It has folders. It has things inside the folders. And it's getting all that moved around on your hard drive. And we're just going to keep waiting. Yeah. And really what this is doing is just underlining the importance of only loading in what you need. The cool thing is, is if you forget something, you can always load it in later. If you find that you've loaded something that you don't need, you can just delete it out of your project and not worry about it. Or, and then load it back in later if you're like, you know, I shouldn't have deleted that. So here we are with our brand new project. Now, there is one more thing that I wanted to load in that wasn't included in our list. It was an additional package, if you will, and that is the Terrain Toolkit. The Terrain Toolkit is a completely separate set of tools for constructing your terrain, uh, getting it shaped out, adding things like erosion, uh, procedurally placing textures based on uh, the elevation of the, the terrain and whatnot. And it's something that doesn't come standard. It doesn't come by default with Unity. So I'm going to show you real quick. Here's where you can download this, the Terrain Toolkit. And just as a a mention. I'll just throw this out there. Depending on which version of Unity you're running, and hopefully you're running Unity 3, but if you're trying to follow along with a previous version of Unity, the terrain assets that I loaded in earlier also may not be included, but you can download those from here on this site as well. So keep that in mind. So uh, take just a moment and download the terrain toolkit if you don't already have it. Now, I've already done this, so I'm not going to drag you through downloading a file, which I'm sure many of you have done many, many times. Once it's downloaded, unzip it to a location that you know of, and we're going to go under the Assets menu here in Unity and come down to Import Package. 
Yeah, I'm going to, uh, let's see, currently we're in my documents, which doesn't do me a whole lot of good. Uh, let's go under the U drive for Unity. And then under source assets, here's where I actually saved out the contents of the zip file. And it's just this, Terrain Toolkit version 1.0 Unity package. I'll simply double click that. Give this a moment to load. It's going to give you, hey, kind of a, a checklist. You know, do you want to load all of this stuff? Don't even worry about looking at it. Just click yes, import it all. In the lower right-hand corner, there's a tiny import button. Click that. Give it a moment to process, and you'll see we get a brand new folder uh, that says Terrain Toolkit, which we'll be using a little bit later. Now, before we completely get away from this video, I do want to just point out, if you take a look inside your standard assets now, we have all of the different things that we've loaded. So we have our character controllers, we have our particles, our sky boxes, our terrain assets, and there's our water. And then down here inside the terrain toolkit, we have some other things as well. But that's as far as I wanted to take this video, just to get uh, kind of the groundwork laid, get our project set up. And in the next video, we'll take a look at getting our terrain established. So Lee, do you have anything else you want to throw out there? No, that's a good start. All right, cool. Then we'll catch you guys in the next video.